morning. In the name of the Lord, and with you, and with your Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. You're all welcome, no matter where you are, what part of the world away from. You're all welcome. Now today it's the Mass for the 28th, which is the 18th Sunday, I feel, in ordinary time. No, it's not. It's the 17th. I love getting you wrong. I can't see the listening seat. So it's a 70 Sunday in order time, so we're going to uh, contain the theme of the Mass is really the Our Father, it's about praying and, uh, you know, uh, being sincere, uh, being the good neighbour, coming when you're called type of thing, not coming when you feel like it. The next door neighbour you call him to do something simple, ah, I'm in bed, I can't do this. No. You get up if you're called to help your neighbour. And that's what it is. So we start off now with I confess and we'll try and get rid of the sins. We will get them. It doesn't let us down, Jesus. I confess from mighty God unto you, my brothers and sisters, have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words and what I've done and what I fear to do. True my fault, true my fault, true my most grievous fault. Therefore ask the blessed Mary of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory be to God in the highest, and on earth the peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world of merciness, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you are the Lord and Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Now we're going to have our opening prayer. Known as the Catholic also. Aye. So as we said, it's the 17th Sunday in order time you see. Let us pray that we will make good use of our gifts that God has given us. God our Father and Protector, without you nothing is holy. Nothing has value. Guide us to everlasting life by helping us to use wisely the blessings you have given to the world. We ask this for Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, who lives in you and reigns the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Now we're going to sit down. The first three readings you sit. Uh, first reading, then you have the psalm, and you have the second reading, and then of course we stand for the Gospel acclamation and Gospel. Well, the first reading today is a reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said, How great an outcry there is against Sodom and Gomorrah. Gomorrah, sorry. How grievous is their sin. I propose to go down and see whether or not they have done all that is alleged in the outcry against them. It has come up to me. I'm determined to know. The men left there and went to Sodom while Abraham remained standing before the Lord. Approaching him, he said, Are you really going to destroy the just man with the uh, sinner? Perhaps there are fifty just men in the town. Will you really overwhelm them? Will you not spare the place for the fifty just men in it? Do you think of doing such a thing? To kill the just man with the sinner, treating the just and the sinner alike. Do you not think of it? Will the judge of the whole earth not administer justice? The Lord replied, 
If at Sodom I find fifty just men in the town, I will spare the whole place because of them. Abraham replied, I am going to need to speak like this to my Lord, I who am dust and ashes, but perhaps the fifty just men lack five. Will you destroy the whole city for five? No, he replied, I will not destroy it if I find forty-five just men there. There again Abram said to him, Perhaps there will only be forty there. I will not do it, he replied, for the sake of the forty. Abram said, I thrust my Lord will not get angry, but give me leave to speak. Perhaps there will only be thirty there. I will not do it, he replied. If I find thirty there, he said, I am bold indeed to speak like this, but perhaps there will only be twenty there. I will not destroy it, Jesus replied, for the sake of the twenty, he said. I trust my God will not be angry if I speak once more, perhaps there will only be ten. I will not destroy it, he replied, for the sake of the ten. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. And the response to the psalm today, which is Oh, on the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. On the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth, but the angels I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. On the day I called you, you answered me, O Lord. I thank you for your faithfulness and love which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered, your strength is my strength of my soul. On the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. The Lord is high, yet he looks on the lowly, and the high, he knows how far. Though I walk in the midst of affliction, you give me life and frustrate my foes. On the day I called you, answered me, O Lord. You stretch out your hand and save me. Your hand will do all the things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. On the day I called you, answered me, O Lord. Second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. You have been buried with Christ when you were baptized, and by baptism too, You've been raised up with him through your belief in the power of God who raised him from the dead. You were dead because you were sinners and had not been circumcised. He was brought you to life with him. He had, he had forgiven us all our sins. He has overridden the law and cancelled every word of the debt that we had to pay. He has done away with it by nailing it to the cross. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The word is made flesh and lived amongst us to all who did accept him. He gave power to become children of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Read from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to thee, O Lord. Ask and it will be given to you. O Jesus, once was in a certain place praying. Uh, when he had finished, one of the disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught the disciples. 
He said to them, Say this when you pray. Father, may your name be held holy, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our, our sins. For we ourselves forgive each one who is in the debt to us. And do not put us to the test. He also said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend and goes to him in the, in the middle of the night to say, My friend, lend me three loaves because a friend of mine on his travels has lost, has just arrived on my house and I have nothing to offer him. And the man answers from inside the house, Do not bother me. The door is bolted now and my children and I are in bed. I cannot get up to give it to you. I tell you, if the man does not get up and give it to him for friendship's sake, persistence will be enough to make him get up and get his friend, give his friend all he wants. So I say to you, ask him to be given to you, search and you will find, knock on the door, will be opened for the one who asks always receives the one who searches always finds and the one who knocks will always have the door opened to him what father among you would hand his son a stone when he asks for bread or hand him a snake instead of a fish or hand him a scorpion if he asks for an egg. If then who are evil know how to, to give your children what is good, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit those who ask him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we're going to say a few words. It's about the Our Father forgiving us, really in simple terms, our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. If you listen to that prayer very carefully, you'll see what it uh, entails. Yet yeah, must we give others if you want to seek the kingdom of heaven. And you're only here for a wet day anyhow, most of us, so we take that in this, the point. So we'll just talk about the gospel. Uh, ask and it will be given to you. Very familiar with Jim Reeves' the song, I'll do it later. So, Jesus uh, asked him how to pray, and he told him, like he gave him that prayer, it's not the one we just have now, it's an older version. It's, Father, may your name be held holy, your kingdom come, give us a stay daily bread, and forgive us our sins, but we ourselves forgive each one who is in debt to us and do not put us to the test. Now that's what he more to say uh, when the prayer said that. And then he also told him then about uh, someone calling in the middle of the night. Well, if you call Jesus any time, he'll answer you. But if you knock some door and they tell you to get, get lost, and maybe you know the person well, there are only maybe two doors away from you. They are uh, not in, in Christ's favour. Because they're not good neighbours, really, in that sense. Because if someone knocked my door, I'd get up and I took people away uh, home at uh, night. So I'm not bragging or boasting, I'm just in a fact. It's just the nature's in me. And uh, that's what you do, simply. So knock on the door, be open to Christ. He is the, your, your perfect friend, as we said, uh, a, week, a perfect neighbour. You can knock on the door, be open, but it doesn't mean that. I'm going to ask you all now. When you knock, where someone knock, will you help them? Will you do something for them? Well, maybe if they're outside with a gun or something, you won't answer the door. I know that. I wouldn't expect you to do that. But the person that comes and you feel they're genuine, you might even know them. Uh, uh, maybe if they're a drug addict or an alcoholic, uh, you can still see what you can do. <clears throat> Some people are able to handle that. Some people not. Use to your conscience what you can do. 
and uh, try and just copy what Christ done because there's no shortcuts to eternity. So uh, it's up to you, and I thank you all very much. And I'm going to get you all now to stand if you can for the Apostles' Creed. It's the mad one I'm doing. So I don't like that bit of hell. Let's see, even the the theologians in the, in the Anglican Church of that day wouldn't have that either. You can go to hell. It's not in the Bible anyway. <laughs> I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, the Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again from the dead and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Now let us give the prayers of the faithful. Let us bring our prayers before God. God of wisdom and love. That all Christians may be inspired to continue along the path of the kingdom uh, by the treasure that awaits them. Lord, hear us, Lord, greatly hear us. That people who are in troubled parts of the world with war and that may find strength and courage in the face of terror attacks. Lord hear us, Lord grace to hear us. That men and women who govern nations may have the wisdom of the great leader Solomon. Lord hear us, Lord grace to hear us. That those affected by drought in various parts of the world, like Ethiopia, Kenya, Somalia and Australia, may receive the food they so desperately need. Lord, hear us, Lord, grace to hear us. That victims of abuse in Ireland find justice and healing. Lord, hear us, Lord, grace to hear us. For all those who are sick, uh, for Father Tom Hammond, I'm going to say a prayer that Tom gets better. Uh, one of my friends was in visiting him and he, he's in, in bed at the moment. So uh, he's just not so well. But let's pray to God. To give Tom a healing, I ask you, in the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Now there's many other people have asked me for healings, but I wouldn't know them that well. They're on Facebook, okay, they say give me a healing, but then they might forget about it the following week. But there's a gentleman in Pakistan, and we'll give him a healing. And any other people that have asked me to pray for them, and I've asked you, Lord, you have a better mind than mine. You'll remember all. I only need the vehicle, the tool. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the spanner in the works. So we ask you, Jesus, to remember all those people I've asked to pray for. And also pray for the Lewis Pfizer Lewis family in Carnivore who have recently lost their mother, the beloved mother. That's sad too. And for all those on life's earth is over, that they will reach the eternal home in heaven, everybody, from Manna, Monaghan, Loud, Ireland. England, Wales, the world. Lord, hear us, thy grace, hear us. Now you can make your own petition in silence. There's a time for any who's wanting to pray for yourself, should be watching the Mass and join in. You'll be with the force of people. Lord, hear us, thy grace, hear us. God of wisdom and love, your will is wonderful indeed. Hear the prayers we make and help us to live by your precepts through Christ the Lord. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, you comfort the bread of life, blessed be God forever.
in the mystery of the water and wine, the humble share in the mystery of Christ, the humble and to share in our humanity. Bless the you, not God of all creation, but you have goodness. We have this wine of apple. Through the vine, what be in hands, become a spiritual drink. Let's be God forever. Someone spread my comfort heart and accept with you, Lord, and may our and save this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from iniquity and send me from my sin. Praises and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God the mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and Lord's name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Now we're going to say the prayer over the gifts. Lord, receive these offerings chosen from your many gifts. One, two, three. May these mysteries make us holy and lead us to eternal joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts with your love to the Lord and give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do all always and ever to give you thanks. When your children sinned and wandered far from your friendship, you reunited them with yourself. Through the blood of your Son and the power of the Holy Spirit, you gathered them into your church. To be one as you, Father, are one with your Son and the Holy Spirit. You call them to be young people, to be your people, to praise your wisdom in all your works. You make them the body of Christ and the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. In our joy we sing to your glory with all the choirs of angels. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth is full of your glory, is and the highest. Blessed he comes in the name, the Lord is and the highest. You are holy indeed, O Lord, and all you created rightly gives you praise. Through your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, with the power and working with the Holy Spirit, he gives life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease. You gather the people to yourself from the rising of the sun to its setting. A pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, grace to make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night Jesus was betrayed, he himself took bread and, giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave us the Sabbath, saying, Take this out of you and eat it, for this is my body which is given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and given you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this out of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as you celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, this wondrous resurrection is ascending to heaven, I you look forward to a second coming. We offer in thanksgiving the holy and living sacrifice. Look, we play upon the blessing of your church and recognizing the character of sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. 
May he make us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles and glorious martyrs, including St. Peter and all the saints. His constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. In this sacrament of a reconciliation, we pray, Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant uh, Pope Francis, our Patriarch Michael, and for me, uh, your bishop, and all the other bishops and clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family that you've summoned before you in your compassion, O most merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and all who are pleasing to you at this passing from uh, this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now let us recite the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be the name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace grant peace in our days, that by the healthy immersion we be all free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the King of the Parents, though we are now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, if not in our sins within the faithful church, and grace you grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, and lives and reigns forever and ever, amen. And that the peace of the Lord be with you always, and that includes people on the internet. Uh, I'm saying peace to you all, no matter what your religion is, what faith you are, what belief, your human being, peace be with you and with your spirit. And may the mingling of body and blood bring turn life to those who are going to receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of merchandise. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of merchandise. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe in eternal life, man. May the blood of Christ keep me safe in eternal life, man. Little Christ. Happy are those who show mercy. Mercy shall be theirs. Happy are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Body of Christ. Mm. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Welcome to my world. Mm -hmm. Won't you come on in? Americas, I guess. 
still happen now and then. Step into my heart, leave your cares behind. Welcome to my world, filled with you in mind. Knock, and the door will be opened. Seek, and you will find. Ask, and you'll be given a key to this world of mine. I'll be waiting there, waiting just for you. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Hallelujah. The sacrament was holy, was sacrament divine. All praise and thanks given be every moment thine. The sacrament was holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and thanks given be every moment thine. Put your mind into it now. Sing it. O sacrament was holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanks given. Every moment thine. Uh, let us pray. Lord, we receive the sacrament which celebrates the memory of the death and resurrection of Christ your Son. May this gift bring us closer to our eternal salvation. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless each and every one of you. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're now going to go forth in peace. Serve the Lord. And we're going to give you a verse of a, a hymn. So do not be afraid to come to the Lord ask him for things. So this is the Lord of all hopefulness. everybody. Nice to be able to talk to you.